we're back. I'm going to try and do an infinity pour this time. It's been a while since I... I actually only tried it once um, with marginal success. So we'll see what happens. You have to use two cups and then try to have like contrasting colors in each cup so then you get a nice contrasty pattern. And then you use and swirl them like this so there's circles that intertwine. Alright, um, in this cup I'm gonna do kind of a silvery base and do a little bit of white. And then I made this gray just now. It's a very light gray, which you probably couldn't tell until I poured it in the cup. And then silver. black just to add some contrast or gray In this cup I'm going to use blue, so let's add some white just to make sure it shows up. Okay. Alright, here we go. Fingers crossed I have enough paint. I guess I have to do it this way instead of opposite. It's funny what your motor skills are when you put them to the test doing something like this. sit there for a bit, empty out. Oh, the cup is really pretty. All right.
Well, that's pretty awesome. I had no idea it was going to come out like that. I like it very much. It gives it a really awesome 3D look when you do kind of a monochrome and then do the twirly thin strands. Looks pretty cool. I really like that. Awesome. Alright, well, I'll let it sit for a bit. You guys, I really love this. This is so cool. The more I look at it, the more I like it. I mean, this part right here. It's just awesome. Looks like the white is trying to crawl up off the canvas. These blues are great. This is awesome. I should do this technique more often. Comes out great. It's the infinity pour. Alright, if you guys enjoyed watching and you'd like to see more, go ahead and like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Thank you.